Welcome back, everyone, to another Leal Legacy Classic Cartoon Commentary. Today, we're hanging out with Kiko the Kangaroo. I thought it was Kiko, but I was informed it was Kiko. Oh, Kiko. There it is. <laughs> Has he always had this song? It is Kiko. In the Foxy Fox. Otherwise known as... Kiko Foils the Fox from 1936 October 2nd 1936 to be precise look at this guy look at this Kiko's got that that same Oswald and Flip sort of charm you know what I mean got some Bosco in there too I can see Bosco having this kind of spunk Oh, look at this. Everyone's on board for this little tune. <sighs> I wonder why Kiko doesn't get the love that I kind of feel like he may deserve. Dr. Crow. What's Dr. Crow do? Oh, let's see. Is Dr. Crow the doctor of the earth? What is he doing? Uh... That's not how a stethoscope works at all. <laughs> I'm having a hard time believing you're a doctor, Mr. Crow. Look at this. You know, it was all a ploy to get some something to eat, wasn't it? Of course it was. And you had Kiko lure the poor little worm out of the ground? What kind of arrangement do you two have? Yeah, this is why you chew your food. Come on, man. <laughs> it serves you right, fake doctor. All right. Now where to, Kiko? What are we doing now? Where's this fox that I hear about? What did that bird... What has that bird got? Is he kind of like a... Oh, golf... Golf can? <laughs> hey. Now, what if Kiko wasn't there? Did that bird bring, I guess, grapes? Was he always intending on using grapes? Do they have this... There's the fox. Do they have this arrangement where, like, hey, I'm gonna show up to this wall every day, and we'll be like, oh, cool, I'll bring you some grapes. I bet he'd have an Australian accent, though. Kiko. Is that presuming too much? Kangaroos are from Australia, so I would imagine. That's very... Are those... His kids? Is this like a family game they do? Because he got really worried. So he always knew he was feeding those birds. Okay. So this has got to be... Oh, there's a lot more birds all of a sudden. <sighs> yeah. Now I can definitely understand why there's another name for this short. Kiko Foils the Fox. That makes way more sense than the foxy fox. This fox isn't very foxy. Wolfy, right? Look at it. <laughs> Ouch. Is that his house? Well, at least he made it home. <sighs> All the kids love Kiko. Kiko the kangaroo. Or everyone loves Kiko. Kick go to the kangaroo. <sighs> this is just a this is just a, a happy a happy short. So he taught him how to fly that way. Well, yeah, why did you take them closer to the cliff to teach them how to fly? This what happened here? Kiko help, helps save the day, and then deliberately puts the birds back in harm's way? You could have just helped them learn to fly off the branch they were on out of the nest. Why did you take them to a cliff? Because if they, uh, clearly if those birds aren't ready to fly, they're going to plummet. And if they happen to survive the fall, that's exactly where you saw the fox fall. This is just poor... Oh, you know what it was? Get your pants on, Kiko. Um... 
He was just looking for a fight. You know how much kangaroos love to box? That's the number one kangaroo stereotype, is that they love to box. They love to fight. Which, I'm in... Ugh. <laughs> it's just... Kiko may not be the brightest. Oh, don't cower now. You pick this fight, finish it. That's impressive. <laughs> what? <laughs> the animator really just wanted to show what a, a fun little trick they could do. Oh, by the way, this is directed by Manny Davis and George Gordon. Oh, of course, the beehive. That's how you resolve every problem. Can't can't fight your way out of throw some bees on it. That isn't just... <laughs> that was delightful. I mean, there had to be some more... something at greater cost presented because everything was resolved with the fox far too quickly, so I get it. I get it for an eventful story, but I'm, I'm gonna think that Kiko just kind of wanted to pick a fight, but then he kind of got overwhelmed by the fight, so I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot to reflect on in this one. Uh, LeoLegacy.com, folks. Come on over to LeoLegacy.com and scope out all the killer content we have for you, including my podcast, Radnorock. Leo Legacy's Radnorock, available across all your favorite podcast platforms. Currently, I'm doing Watch Along a Commentary Podcast to all the Disney animated classics uh, and... I'm doing companion podcasts to those watch alongs called Radnorock Retrospective, where I tell you everything you didn't know you wanted to know about each of those films. So join you, join me, join you, join me, won't you? <laughs> I botched that. Um, also, scope out our store, Skeleton Crew. The best way to support the Leo legacy is by purchasing something from our Skeleton Crew store. Skeleton Crew is our Leal Legacy lifestyle brand. Uh, streetwear, apparel, merchandise, uh, just accessories, whatever you got, we got. Whatever you want, we got. Man, I am messing this up. Uh, LealLegacy.com slash shop. Oh. A professional would go back and re-record this, but I'm not. I'm not a professional. I'm just me. Hopefully you're inspired to go to SkeletonCrewBrand.com and still like, comment, subscribe, hit that ding-dong notification bell. You can find Leo Legacy across all your favorite social media platforms at Leo Legacy. And as always, folks, thanks for being a friend and telling a friend. And I mean that. Thank you. Because after this performance, sheesh.